China's first twin-aisle long-haul passenger aircraft, designed to compete directly with the Boeing 787 Dreamliner and Airbus A350, with a capacity of 250 to 320 passengers and a range of up to 12,000 kilometers, the C-929 aims to connect any two major Chinese cities with any significant destination worldwide without stopping, Beijing to New York, Shanghai to London, Guangzhou to Sydney. And this is just the first of Comac's ambitious wide-body projects. Later in this video we'll explore the even more advanced C-939, China's true heavyweight contender, designed to challenge the Boeing 777X and the largest Airbus A350 variants. This is where things get complicated for China. Building a regional jet or narrow body, that's one thing. Creating a wide body that can safely and efficiently cross oceans for over 20 years of service is aviation's highest technical challenge. Remember those Western components in the C919? Well, the C929 faces the same challenge, but it's magnified. Modern wide bodies like the 787 and A350 use more than 50% composite materials in their structure. This is technology that China is still working to master at scale. This explains why Comac initially partnered with Russia's United Aircraft Corporation on the project. However, that partnership has reportedly fallen apart, leaving Comac to go it alone. Though they are receiving help from companies like Liebherr for landing gear and potentially GE Aerospace for early engine options. Here's what Western analysts often miss. China doesn't need the C929 to be better than the 787 or A350. They just need it to be good enough while being significantly cheaper. Air China has already signed on as the launch customer, with deliveries optimistically targeted for 2027, though 2029 seems more realistic. Comac plans three variants. Firstly, the C929-500, the base model accommodating 250 passengers in a typical three-class configuration. Secondly, the C929-600, a stretched version seating 280 passengers in a three-class layout with an exit limit of approximately 440 passengers in high-density configuration. Lastly, the C929-700, the largest variant with 320 seats in a typical three-class arrangement. Interestingly, some reports suggest Comac may introduce the 600 variant first, before offering the shorter 500 and longer 700 variants. The path to Western certification will be challenging. Both the FAA and ESA have incredibly high standards, and the geopolitical environment doesn't favor quick approval.